Jim Wagner, your self-defense instructor. And what I'm going to cover now is how to protect yourself with a knife or an edged weapon, whether it's a kitchen knife, a folding knife, a screwdriver, a broken bottle. This is for your self-defense if somebody tries to attack you and you have to use such a tool. Now, just grab a butter knife and follow along with me for training. The best way to hold a knife is what we call a fist grip. Now a fist grip is good because if somebody tries to kick your hand or tries to grab it or you hit bone, it's not going to come out. Now 90% of the people I train or come to me, I always see them using the Hollywood grip. And the Hollywood grip is also called the fencing grip because it's from European fencing. But the problem with this is wherever you see the handle is a weak spot. And if you hit something like bone or something hard, it's going to come out. Or if someone kicks it, it's going to come out. So always have a fist grip or fist grip point down. Point down is what a lot of militaries in the world use, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that. I personally prefer fist grip up, but you got to train both ways because you never know if a um, knife is laying on a counter and you need it, you know, it's going to be whatever you grab at the moment. Now, we're going to talk about the 10 angles of attack. Now, I don't mean you're the aggressor attacking people. I mean attack as in geometry. For example, an airfoil of an airplane uh, hitting the wind, we call that an angle of attack. And a certain angle of attack creates lift. Now, there's only 10 directions. I will give you the name and I will give you the number. Now, this is from my own system, reality-based personal protection. Nobody else has the 10 angles. Uh, Filipino Kali has 12 angles. Uh, some other uh, systems, like military systems, have eight angles. But I took, uh, I took geometry and said there's only 10 angles of attack. So the 10 angles are forward and back, horizontal, vertical, and the X, diagonal. That's it. There is no other way to attack a human being, whether with a weapon or empty-handed. So I'm going to run through this with you. Follow along with me. We'll face the same direction. Now, the number one angle is forward. Anything going forward is a number one, whether it's in the neck area, chest area, stomach. That's a number one. Now, anything going back is a, of course, rear attack or number two, the second angle. And it's with the handle. Now, if you happen to be the type that likes point down, okay, he comes up behind you. Nothing wrong with doing that. Go point first, okay? Third angle is a horizontal. Now, I'm using my right hand right now. This is my primary hand. And you're following a right, along with me now with your right hand, but we're going to switch to our left hand because you've got to know both. But spend 90% of your training on your primary hand. And in this case, I'm right-handed. So, number three is from right to left, horizontal. It could be the eyes, it could be the neck, it could be the body. Now, when you do these, whenever you do these techniques, don't just use your arm. That's not going to work. Use your body. Instead of just using your arm, rotate the body. Rotate the body. Gives you more power. Also, what does this free hand do? Well, it just doesn't lay here doing nothing. It's always up there because just in case you miss or he's coming at you, you have the ability to block and it's, 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 it's your shield. Now, number three, horizontal from right to left. Number four, you guessed it, the opposite way, left to right. Any target going horizontal from left to right is a number four angle. Number five is vertical, straight down. Anything going straight down. Now, if this guy grabs me and I go straight down to make him let go, that's still a number five because it's coming down. Number six, yep, opposite, going up. Chin, stomach, groin. Number seven, from right to left, diagonal. From down, correction, from up to down, from right to left. And of course, again, opposite. Number eight, from left to right, from down to up. Any target. Number nine, from right 
to left from down to up. Diagonal, diagonal. And number 10, the final one, from uh, left to right, from down to up. Now, up to this point, I was only using the edge, the cutting edge, the blade. But certainly, you, you can do all of these with the point, a stabbing motion. Now, number one obviously goes in, but number uh, two, again, it could be with the point. And especially if you have point down, that's more easy. Now, number three can be with the point. Anything coming horizontal is still uh, a number three angle, or horizontal angle. Number four, same way, right? But you stick it in, you stick it in, you stick it in. Now, I have a, bo a body opponent now. It's a professional training tool. But again, you could do this against a tree. You could do this against the corner of a, uh, a room where you have a towel wrapped around it. Uh, you could do it against a post, you know. Always try to use something to make contact because that's going to give you the proper distance to use. And uh, you always want to know the distance because this is a very small weapon. And if you're just doing it in the air, well, you're not going to know what it's like to make contact with something. Now, so number four we did. Number five, straight down, straight down. Number six, with the point, straight up, straight up. Number seven, diagonal, right to left, up to down, okay? Uh, number eight, a little trickier. And again, would you use this in a real fight? It's kind of an awkward angle. It's possible and you should know it because maybe he has a hold of your arm, he's grabbing you, and this is the only target you have, coming number eight. Number nine, coming up. Number nine, coming up. Number 10, coming up diagonal. Now, switch it to your left hand. Number one, forward, two, back, three. Now, the only thing is it's flip-flop. On a horizontal, it's flip-flop. So, from left to right this time. Three is a horizontal hit, anywhere. And of course, four is a horizontal hit coming back. Five, that stays the same. Vertical down, vertical up. Six is vertical up. Uh, seven, diagonal. From left to right this time, from up to down. And of course, eight, opposite way. Opposite, from up, from right to left, from up to down. Nine, from left to right, from down to up, and 10, opposite. And again, with all of these, you could use the point. You could go number one, number two, number three, number four, all of these angles. That's it. There is no other way to attack the human body. Now, in between, let's say in between angles, you have minutes of angles, okay? There's 360 degrees in a circle, so 360 possibilities. But we're not splitting hairs here, pardon the pun. Uh, does it really matter if I'm perfectly horizontal or two or three angles above that? No, to him it doesn't matter, to me it doesn't matter. So don't make this more complicated than it is. There's only 10 angles, 10 ways you can come in, either cutting or with the point. Practice that, first try it slow, then of course as you get better, faster and faster, harder and harder. And repeat this uh, video many times until you finally got it down, until you finally understand. But I guarantee you'll never forget it and uh, and it's easy to refresh yourself and go over these angles of attack. So see you next time.